Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bruka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, I'm doing this lesson because I'm inspired by a, a lesson, a video that I watched from the GMS Dallas in class, triple seven. Um, and as we all can see, there are a lot of things happening in the world right now. You know, many, many, many teachers, many elders. Even the apostles, they've been, you know, making lots of teachings and videos showing what's going on in the world, you know. And it is, it is evidence that we get into the period to a time in which, you know, we would have to make a choice. Either choose to put our whole trust on the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, or put our trust on man, Okay which you know we profit nothing from man but we profit from the most high yahweh in the name of his son yahweh shai so i'd like to start off from the book of um, isaiah chapter 30 which quotes from verse 1 woe to the rebellious children said the lord yahweh that take counsel but not of me and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin okay so if we don't take counsel from the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai okay which are the truth of this word of this book okay also the through the mouth of his apostles you know who are the, the apostles of great millstone starting from the apostle taha if we don't take heed to their words okay then we fall victim to lies and to de de to deception of this world and what do we do we add sin to sin we add sin upon sin that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh to trust in the shadow of Egypt you know we have many many of our brethren you know of the house of Yasharala who are already sold out to this system sold out to Esau which the word Egypt right there you know Matazariam represents the house of bondage starting from america which also has to do with the system that they put together the democracy system which majority of the countries in the world are, 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 are applying this system you know which is nothing but you know taking away the values that you have as a country and giving you their own values which are values of death you know homosexuality um feminism and all the rest you know this is what democracy actually is so we have many brothers who are working in in huge positions for this for these people you know who these people who are the sons of the wicked he saw those go uh, those governing this kingdom as we know it right now and you see what i just want to point out is the same thing happening in the united states is just happening over here in italy and that's how you know according to the book of revelations that you know they they give their strength to the beast you know just paraphrasing because they do the same old thing whenever i watch the news in in the united in the united states you know the pattern of the way they put things together is just the same way they're doing it right here in italy in germany in spain 
and all around Europe because these people they move with just one voice but the time is coming where they will turn their back against that harlot which is America okay and destroy our hit or eat up our flesh you know so many of our brethren are working for them in high positions you know they're blessed by the devil blessed by the sons of his soul with huge sums of money in their accounts so their mouth is covered their eyes are closed they can't see the truth anymore the darkness is the darkness is so much on them that they can't see the light anymore until Yahweh Shai would return and dist- and have to destroy them you know so they can come back again and get their senses back but i believe some of them are going to wake up you know but we're actually talking about those who refuse to wake up who believe that they find refuge under the wings of the sons of the wicked under egypt which is the house of bondage and see one thing you should know is no matter how much you have in your account you know yeah we know money is a defense but no matter how much you have in your account or whatever you know it can't save you you're still a slave you're still a slave to this system okay so let me read again from verse 2 that walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay. We have many Jakes, you know, who believe they can never go broke and rich for life. They make statements like this, you know, sow their souls to these dumb devils so-called white man you know and they are paid to deceive and and mislead the house of yasharala the princes of power you know so their work is actually working for the left hand side they believe that they can never go broke no evil can fall on them but you know all in one hour like the book of revelation says you know the destruction is going to come upon your man the destruction is going to come upon your man if you don't repent and come out from that dead death that you are okay because there is no life in this kingdom you know now let's keep going for his princes was one and his ambassadors came to harness they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be an help, nor profit, but shame, and also a reproach. The burden of the beast of the south into the land of trouble and anguish, from whence come the young, the old lion, the viper, the fiery flying serpent, they will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses, and their treasures upon the bunches of camels, to a people that shall not profit them, you know? And you see, just like I was saying, you know, there are a lot of really highly talented Jakes, you know, great men in philosophies and stuffs, you know, in science and everything. They don't use it to seek the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They prefer to use it to work for, 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 the, for, for the wicked, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the technology that's, the technology that they actually, you know, they actually put together after some years in Swiss, which is the, the CERN, which is the biggest molecule colliding machine, which that's actually an instrument that they've created, a weapon to, to shoot down the chariots of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But they would never succeed. That's just nothing, you know. Um, I would not be surprised that the idea to create such comes from a Jake, you know. These Jakes, they lay up all their treasures in the house of the wicked where the thieves can come in and steal, where they can get destroyed by natural disasters or whatever, you know. They say, I can never go broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Stuff like that, you know. If these Jakes don't wake up, man, they're getting destroyed. They're getting destroyed. And there is no pity for them, man. 
Verse 7 quotes, For the Egyptians shall help in vain, and to no purpose therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. So as you can see, those of you running under the shadow of the states, you know, lining yourselves up, lining yourselves up to get injected with, with the poisons, with the jabs, with the poison of the serpent, you know, believing that's going to protect you and keep you safe. Man, you're in for a rude awakening. Okay? Because our healing comes through the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we know we are not ignorant of the devices of these Satans sons of his soul the so-called white man the wickedness we are not ignorant of his devices wherefore we are careful we are attentive and we follow the words that come out from the mouth of the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai through this book of the law which is the holy scriptures that we have okay we don't put our trust in this men in these devils they have a back record of doing only evil. They've, they've, they don't have even just one single history of them doing good. Only evil. But you see, Israel is quick to forget. They are quick to forget. They are a sodish children, you know, foolish people, man. They are quick to run to their oppressors and forsake their power. This is what Israel is. They are quick to sign that dumb contract, music contract, and put single sort of stupidness, you know, madness that makes no sense, single sort of evil, and transmit some very wicked and negative vibes to your spirit, you know? This is what Jacob is known for doing, you know? Just like the, the lesson the Apostle Gaba did, I think, some days ago you know speaking about you know how the music industry has lost yeah has lost its value because now music is garbage man and these people are working on some fifth fifth kind of dimension of negative vibes man pouring in some wicked negative vibes you know that's what music does and everything they say is just bullshit man now let's jump to chapter 31. I'm going to read the first verse which says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horses because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Yasharala, neither seek the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yes. We have lots of Jakes in high position in the army of these devils, you know. They so trust in this technology, which it's the Most High who has given them this knowledge to do all these things. And it's all for the purpose of carrying out the will of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Many look at, for example, America and, you know, they just say in their mind, this country can never be destroyed, man. It's too strong to be destroyed. It's too powerful to be destroyed. This country is too advanced to be destroyed. Hey, you're in for a rude awakening. You are in for a rude awakening. You know? So many of our brethren there, you know, they trust so much in, in, in Esau. You know, he has blinded them with, with this... Um, uh, artificial intelligence this technology just like you know the book of revelation says you know the beast and it did, did lots of miracles did lot of wonders sorry this is the wonder you know so now but they, they are so stupid and solid and foolish that they can't understand that this man is modifying your dna and playing with your dna and doing all sorts of wickedness to you Trying to make you lose that which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has promised you as the princes of this world. You know, they don't seek the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They seek 
what the, the this this wicked elite these wicked white men they do you know they hear their voices you know on the tv you know you see some clowns coming out and telling you about this this uh, this virus talking about some stupid things which they can't even prove which is common sense man you break them down with their foolish ideas and full philosophies you know but jacob is so blind sons of jacob are so blind they don't see they are the first on the queue to take that poison man and the most high is justified to destroy you man the most high is really justified we are actually praying every day you know doing the best we can to follow the to put to the best of our ability these commandments and praying for mercy that the most high yahweh ba shem yahweh shai has mercy on us and it's not going to be easy for us to get into the kingdom then think 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 less of you 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 bunch of stupid foolish people out there you know not even doing anything you know just believing in your oppressors now let's get the book of psalms chapter 118 Now read verse 8. It says, It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, than to put confidence in princes. And you all know what it means, the princes of this world, you know, those ruling this world right now, sons of Esau, you know, the high class top cats right there, you know? That's where many of you put your trust, you know. You see some jakes, you know, putting on suits and everything, you know, try yeah, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm this and that. Fuck off right here, man. Excuse my language. Excuse my Italian anyway. You know. They are actually so deep into this white man's, you know, brainwashing. They want to become like the white man. You see some jakes, they don't even want to walk or speak to their own type you know they just have friends who are this um is this crackers man and i'm not saying every every white guy is a cracker i'm not saying that because we have some sons of israel that are going to look like them you know like me right here is a brother right here with me you know he looks like an edomite but the spirit bears witness with the spirit he is a jake man even more jake than many dark skin jakes man and right here in italy we have a lot of you know dark skin jakes who are edomites who are truly edomites you know they take the dark skin from their mother but their father is, is some fucking cracker man and they look like jakes that's why they do some really weird things man just like these white boys do so it's not really the color that matters you know So we shouldn't put our trust on men. Come and take these jabs and get um immunized, get protected. No. Come and take the mark of the beast, which is the microchip that would that would empower you to make sales and do this and do that. No. Because we're following the word of the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is the spirit we need to have. We're ready to die for it, man. We're ready to lose everything man because who saves his life shall lose it you know i'll still get to that precept right there you know so we put our trust in the most high yahaba shem yahaba shai is our strength is our power is our protection is our provision is our everything you know we don't put our trust in this dumb society in this dumb white man man the book of matthew chapter 10 Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 quotes This is from the word of Yahweh Shai you can see it's written in a red letter And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell Okay And this hell right here doesn't mean the hell that they teach you in churches right there It's talking about the destruction you know
So we shouldn't fear this man, you know? He can't do nothing to you even if he takes your life, man. He can't do anything to you. It's the most high you need to fear, man. And yeah, you know, I started the lesson telling you that I got my inspiration from from the GMS Dallas in class 777, you know? I did a video and there is a chapter that, you know, he read from that which is um which is the book of jeremiah chapter 26 then if you go down to verse 20 you know it tells you a story about a certain prophet who was also prophesying the destruction of jerusalem alongside with um the prophet jeremiah but when the kings actually decided to kill him he got afraid and what did he do he fled down to egypt when he fled down to egypt they went down to Egypt, they got him, brought him back and murdered him and, you know, buried him, you know, in a common sepulchre of the people, you know. So this is what you get when you put your trust in Egypt. And when we speak of Egypt, you know, today's Egypt is America, you know, and it also has to do with the whole system of, um, of democracy, which, you know, it reaches all over Europe. excuse me a call came in and it just stopped the recording so as i was saying um yeah as we read we shouldn't fear we shouldn't fear man you know but fear the most high you how about shame you how shy there is nothing man can do to you even if he kills you he can't destroy your soul but the king of all souls you how about shame you how shy that he we, who we have to fear, you know? Man cannot do anything to you. So yeah, I was actually talking about, you know, um, the prophet Uriah who fled into Egypt and, you know, he died, he got killed and humbled, you know? So to close this lesson, I'll just take one last precept from the book of Luke, chapter 9 verse 24 which quotes for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it can and this is just the point man whosoever will lose his life shall save it whosoever will lose his life for the sake of the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai he shall gain it because you come back and when you come back you know you'll be honored but those who are trying to save their lives you know on the front line queuing up for to take that 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 poison jab you know trying to trying to be like some 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 goddamn sambos you know man you're gonna lose your life those who are saying you know i'm rich forever I can never go broke. Man, you're in for a rude awakening. I'm too smart to be broke. In for a rude awakening. Because we we don't we don't put our trust in in, in Egypt. We don't put our trust in this in this in the, in the treasures of this place, man. Put our trust. We we store up our treasures in the kingdom that is about to come. Which is, which is nothing you can even imagine. Even we ourselves, we can't imagine it. It's totally out of our mind, you know. This earth is going to be repurified through the, 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 uh, the nuclear weapons, you know, the nuclear bombs. It's going to purify everywhere, turn it new, you know. And yeah, our shy is going to, you know, come back. And everything will have a new a new kingdom, man. Oh, I hope this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.